Are you ready to portal? Yeah? Well, I am. Anyways, I hope to finish my playthrough of Rexora today. Um, I did a little, little um, uh, operating system gymnastics on my machine, so I lost the save game of uh, my playthrough, but I do know that I was at the entrance of uh, Chamber 18. So uh, we can go map, uh, I think it was a uh, map, yeah, Rex, uh, he called them. Um, uh, 18 and that's where we're gonna start uh, because I have uh, no way of getting my old save games back I was uh, a bit in a hurry and I um, actually uh, yeah deleted the 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 steam folder uh, that contained the save games but no matter because I've played through all the others so uh, let's see um, uh, here we go. I also installed the portal skin. Uh, my portal gun skin, see? Um, and I think that's where I was. Yeah, so let's just go. This yes. This repetition is making me want to murder something. Anyway, here's the next test chamber. Enjoy. Right. So I do remember to have been here. Um, and you obviously want to grab the cube. Right. Uh, blue here and orange there. So let's go. Also, my internet is down right now because uh, for some reason that I don't really know why. Eh. Eh. Okay. So what else do we have? I'm just gonna leave the cube. Eh. Hmm. Okay. So the door opens sometimes. Let's go through. Right, so where's the... Oh. Uh, yeah, we don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna create a save game so that... You know... Right. Um, that will close the door and reflect the pellet. And... Uh, nothing has an effect on... The question is, this does what? Oh, it it starts the platform. It 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 moves the platform. If I re go, yeah, it will move me back. Interesting. Is there a way to? Yeah, there's. So I would somehow have to place a portal here. And make the yeah. ah, that's how. Like that, see. And I would have to probably take the cube here. Do that. Yeah. Fraps is telling me ninety frames per second. So, what do we have here? A receptacle, and that's the exit. Huh. So the pellet has to go through the door. But is there any other... there is... I didn't see that button before, but I'm guessing the button lowers the, uh, the uh, b b whatever they are. Right. I could probably. I'm gonna create another save here real quick because. Okay, so that's a bit. Okay, weird. Um, gotta hit the right buttons on the keyboard, man. I, I want to know something, right? This is why I saved, because... I, I could do that, 
See? I could portal bump. There's the exit. Um... Uh, but I don't necessarily want that right now. Let's see. So... This is how you get over. And if I place a portal there... I'm guessing it's a good idea to have one here right now. This is how I get back. I'm guessing this... Yeah. See? It will just bomb. 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 And now... <laughs> yeah. Now I can probably place a portal... There. Right? Do that. Or not. How do you keep the door open? Let's see. Huh. I'm guessing it has to do with, um... It's the same thing that happened in the other chamber, uh, in the other chamber where you have to... Destroy the pellet at a certain point. It will come back now. Hmm. That's interesting. do you switch the sequence of of that okay now it's blue right That's a bit annoying. But it will close the door, so maybe... Also, the question is... If I remove the cube, will I get a new one? Because I'm thinking maybe I can place the cube in between the door. Well, let's try. So, I, I fizzled the cube. Right. Yeah, I get a new one. Oops. So... If I just... Do that. Ooh! I think that fizzle it. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, it's a dispenser. Ooh. 
Okay, so that's uh, that's relatively interesting. It is clear that you have to do something. Like the portal one portal has to be here obviously. The question is how do you switch uh yeah I just spat on my keyboard. Um question is how do you how do you switch the sequence of that door? Right. The pallet will not leave that particular area. You have to direct it out somehow. Let's check something. Not... yeah. I can't shoot a portal here. Uh. I'm also uh, learning C++ right now um, for the engine I'm creating. Um, I think I want to make my engine a voxel engine. Um, be primarily because I think that uh, normal polygonal models are pretty much coming to an end. Uh, there's only so and so much you can do on um, with OpenGL with normal triangle models. Mm. For the uninitiated, that means that everything you see here is made up of uh, of triangles. Yeah, so uh, probably. This particular part here is is one box um, with uh, uh, the v one vertice, 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 and vertice, and uh, there's an uh, like another vertice here, vertice here, and behind there as well. And what and there and what the graphic card can do is it takes these uh, coordinates in 3D space and can put a box on it um, like this with a certain texture you see here. And um, it applies the texture in in a certain way. And OpenGL or DirectX, uh, you can choose whichever one, whichever one you like, is uh, is a rasterizer. Yeah. So a lot of mathematical calculations are going on to to display the entire thing in in a three dimensional view that is that like it that tricks our brains into believing that this is a. Uh, uh, something that has depth, yeah, um, and that's that's how it works. But uh, the thing is that nothing, n none of these has a perceivable volume. Like it's it's just flat. It's a, it's like on a movie set. It's a, um, it's cardboard really. Yeah, it's uh, it's flat. It doesn't have any volume, although it appears that it has because you can't walk through walls. Yeah, but that's because the game is programmed in such a way that when I hit the wall it will just stop me okay but technically there is I, I could enable no clip and I would get just walk through the wall yeah and um, that's kind of how it works um, in most games and uh, now with voxels it's completely different because voxels is a uh, 